Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, we have about three months of EX jobs, uh, so I thought I would uh, revisit my tier list of kind of legacy units that got EX jobs, and then what kind of priority we should put on awakening them. It's a little bit early to be doing this because I haven't seen enough of the brand new ones. Uh, Mashiri, Ramada, and who else was it? Miche. I haven't really seen them in action, so I don't know how good they are. Um, so I'll be kind of be placing them, just uh, reading their skills on the paper. Uh, but I thought this would be a video that I could uh, make and then get out quickly, uh, because there will be the uh, live stream tonight. And I'd like to get this out uh, before then. Uh, but again, just to explain the uh, tiers, um, I have them split between uh, 120 and 115, uh, because to go from 115 to 120 you need 200 shards, uh, that's the, uh, the biggest step. And then sometimes the skill that they pick up for 120 is maybe not worth uh, that extra work. So that's why I've uh, split those into two categories. And then uh, top versus good, uh, the top characters are more uh, worth your investment, I would say. More than good. I mean, all of these characters are good and fun, but if you're trying to look at it objectively, then I think uh, this tier ranking works. And then I was thinking about uh, collapsing no-brainer and then top 120 together uh, into one category. But I'm gonna leave top 120 as a category of these are the best investments with caveats if you are wanting something particular. While no-brainer, I think everybody should do it uh, if they have access to the unit. Okay, but first let's place the, uh, the units that were released uh, since last uh, tier list. And then after that, I will uh, upgrade some guys because they deserve it. Alright, first is Ayaka. This is going to be controversial, but I'm going to put her in uh, fans only. It's not because I dislike the character. I think she's awesome and I'm super grateful that I have her, uh, especially for like tower and stuff. But all of the skills and stuff that she gets uh, from EX jobs, n almost none of them have to do with healing. Her uh, Kiraga gets upgraded so it restores AP, that's great. And then her level 120 skill, uh, it can give your teammates uh, defense penetration and then drain, which sounds amazing. But that's not why I would use her. Of course, with uh, more levels, you get more stats, uh, so her agility and HP would go up. That would be very helpful for her. Uh, but for healing, I think she's great at 99 or even 89. So that's why I'm going to put her in uh, fans only. Uh, next is Federica. I'm going to put her in no-brainer. My biggest issue with her pre-EX jobs was the uh, lack of damage. Uh, but I've been using her a lot lately, and her damage is great as an EX job unit. And then she picks up some things like uh, Defense Penetration and uh, Barrier Breaker, which is very useful. So, yeah, I think everybody who has her maybe would want to uh, raise her. Okay, next is uh, Mashiri. We'll put her in good 120. Uh, not good 115, because her 120 skill is 100% hit. That was kind of one of the things that she was missing the most. Uh, in her 99 form uh, was holy. Uh, but with the 120 skill, she picks up a 100% hit skill, so I think she is worth taking all the way to 120 uh, if you are a fan of her. I am super tempted to uh, awaken her because I think she can get very uh, tanky, high defense and spirit. Uh, her resistances uh, still are not going to change, they're only so-so. Uh, but yeah, a defense and or spirit build would be very interesting. And then her uh, counter heal is going to get much stronger as well. Uh, you can get to 3,000 or more, depending on how you raise her uh, magic and faith. So it could be a uh, situation where like, if you can't one-punch her, she'll just go back to full life. That would be a very fun character, I think, to play. Okay, then next we got uh, Miche. He is the first R unit. I'm going to put him in fans only. Uh, if you did want to work on him though, you'd want to take him to 120, because then he gets a long range uh, AoE 100% hit attack, which, what was it, cuts CT gauge in half? So a very interesting support unit. And he's also one of the faster units out there. He can get out his flare pretty quickly, so interesting character, but I'm not going to uh, level him up. 
Okay, next let's do uh, Tsubiake. I'm gonna put her in 120. I was a little bit disappointed by her EX form uh, because she doesn't really get more in the way of like uh, damage. I wanted more damage, more agility. She, she does get some of that, but nothing super special about it. Uh, what she gets with her upgraded uh, skills and new skills is more breaks and imperils. Um, so like uh, Earth Imperil, that is her 120 skill. That's why I put her in 120 instead of 115. And then like uh, Defense Spirit Breaks and then also Attack Magic Breaks. So she can break almost everything. But uh, Earth Imperil, that could be interesting for raids maybe. Okay, last is Aramada. We'll also put her in good 120. She gets some interesting stuff. Uh, she gets Hide. Her Doom attack, I'm generally not a fan of the Doom attacks, but it gets another it gets another status effect and it gets sped up, so that's interesting. And then her level 120 skill is a very long range. It's her longest range attack, I think, uh, which also Dispels. And uh, Dispel is a very useful skill for uh, PvE. Okay, and then uh, next week, I think, uh, we'll get Vistral, Dorando, and Shuzelt. Uh, Vistral, he is a lock uh, for being woken to EX jobs. Uh, but yeah, Shuzelt might be interesting. I think a lot of people are using him now in the uh, raid in Global. So he could be pretty good. Okay, next, let's do some upgrades. Uh, first, I'm going to take Mont from top 115 to no-brainer. Uh, he's great. I think everybody should level him up. He can be a tank, he can be a support character, he's kind of well-rounded, and then he has very high uh, strike resistance, which we're seeing more and more of uh, these days. Uh, next, I'm going to improve uh, Nasia from good 120 to top 120. She is a super duper hard tank, and then with her uh, EX jobs, she gets a little bit of uh, magic resistance as well. So if you just wanted a slow tank that just takes no damage from physical attacks, uh, then I think she's a great choice. And then recently got uh, Voices in JP, and then her voice actress is pretty good. It makes me like the, uh, the character a lot more. And then especially if you don't have Agrius, I think uh, maybe she is a shoo-in for a uh, EX uh, candidate, so yeah, she's pretty great. Okay, then maybe the last upgrade I will do will be to take uh, Orudoa from good 115 to good 120. I said before that her level 120 skill was confusing to me, like I didn't understand why it was good. Uh, but basically it's a medium ranged attack for medium damage, uh, costs 20 AP, drains 20 AP. So I was like, what's the point? She has other skills, uh, like from her assassin subjob, which can, which can take away more AP. Uh, she has longer range attacks, she has other attacks that do more damage. So I was like, why is this a thing? Uh, but it was using her in PvE, being able to do more turns in a row where you are attacking and not needing to uh, wait to use a TP skill or like a regular attack. Just more consistent damage over a longer amount of turns. That's what that skill was good for, and so yeah, I think she's worth taking to uh, 120 now. But yeah, I think that is my upgraded uh, tier list here. As I've spent more time uh, with EX jobs in JP, uh, the better I feel about it. Uh, it's been handled pretty well as far as a uh, power creep, uh, even with the uh, brand new characters uh, getting EX jobs. The old characters are still very, very uh, competitive. And uh, yeah, new skills, you can use them in new ways, maybe use them in uh, new game modes. And it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens when all of the characters, all of the legacy characters, get the uh, EX jobs. Uh, maybe they will uh, introduce like EX sub-jobs uh, for, for characters like not their uh, main job. So that'll be more work, uh, more shards, uh, but seeing how it's been handled so far, I think we can be uh, optimistic about how that will be handled. Whoops, I just realized that uh, Warrior of Light, I forgot to put him in unreleased. Uh, but the next month, when I do this tier list again, that'll be the final one before uh, it is released in Global. Um, I'll talk about him then. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.